everyone welcome to this video uh, in this video I'm just going to take a look at a bunch of different examples where we use the fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate definite integrals so basically I'm just showing you how to evaluate definite integrals so here's what we're gonna go through in this video so I've got these three examples so ways you can use this video you can either just sit and watch of course or you can use this as a way to quiz yourself and then look at the solutions or if there's a specific one that you want to see you can always just scrub through and, and take what you need Okay, so let's get into this. So for this first one, so I've got this definite integral. So where you're gonna wanna start is you wanna take really the antiderivative of this part here. So the antiderivative of this is gonna be x cubed minus one half x squared. Now, after you find that, and, and, and you don't need the plus c here. So that's something I talk about actually in my video on the fundamental theorem of calculus. So if you wanna see why that is, uh, you, can, you can watch that video. But what you're going to do is you're going to put square brackets since there's more than two terms uh, or there's two terms here you're going to want to put square brackets around this and then you basically want to put down what you're going to be evaluating so this is your way of stating here's my antiderivative and now i basically need to plug in these numbers so now i'm going to do this in pieces so first i'll plug in the four as shown so let's see this times four squared and then i'm going to subtract off what it would mean to plug in one. So let's see, I'll, I'll put parentheses around all of this, make this look nice, sorry. Um, okay, minus one half times one squared. And okay, so now from here on out, basically, it's just a matter of going through and evaluating all this. So this is 64 minus eight, minus one plus one half, and so if I just want to state that as a decimal, this comes out to 55.5. And so that, that's really it. And the reason that we can do this, so just to show you one more time, so we've got the fundamental theorem of calculus. This is what's known as the evaluation theorem. So basically you will take the antiderivative and then you plug in just the limits of integration. So that, that's it. So let's continue on now. So now I've got this definite integral five secant squared x from zero to pi over three. Okay, so for this one, if you if, if the five is kind of throwing you off, one property of definite integrals is you can just bring it out front and ignore it and just find this definite integral. That's always an option. And then uh, the antiderivative of secant squared is tangent. So then I really need to evaluate five tangent x from 0 to pi over 3. Now notice for this particular problem I only have one term so I don't need the other square bracket over here so this is totally fine. And some people do square brackets like this and then um, actually the way that, that I I learned how to do this back in the Stone Age was uh, just a bar like this. So wh whichever way, there's, all, there's different ways that people write this. Anyway, so now you're just going to plug everything in. So I'm going to have 5 times the tangent of pi over 3 minus 5 times tangent of 0. And so this will really just give you 5 times the square root of 3. And so that's that's it. Okay, and so now for this last one. Um, so once again, so now I've got to find my antiderivative of this piece in here. So if you want, you can break this into separate integrals if that's like important to you. For, for me, I, I usually just plow ahead and, and find the antiderivative of each piece. So the antiderivative of 4x squared, so this will be 4 really times 1 over 3x cubed. And then the antiderivative of the square root of x, which is the same thing as x to the 1 half, this will be 2 thirds x to the 3 over 2. So there's kind of all the pieces. So I, st I still need to evaluate this from um, zero to four. So now I just have to plug in some numbers. So let's see, this is gonna be four thirds times four cubed plus two thirds times four to the three halves minus four thirds, so I'll put square bracket around this, four thirds times zero cubed plus two thirds times zero to the three halves. So obviously this part here is just going to be zero, so we can kind of ignore it. So ultimately what this comes down to, let's see, I should probably throw some equal signs in here. 
This comes out to 256 over 3 plus 16 over 3. So if you leave it all as a fraction, you get 272 over 3. Or if you write it out as a decimal, I get 90.66. So which, whichever way you want to do that is fine. But that's kind of the, the basics of this. So you find the antiderivative, and then you plug in those limits of integration, and, and then you're good to go. So that covers it for this video, so it was nice and short. Um, I have lots of other videos with other integrals and explaining how the fundamental theorem of calculus works and, you know, all that good stuff. So feel free to check those out. I'll catch you guys next time.